Good evening, good evening. This is Marie Holiday, and I hope everybody had a fabulous Saturday. And before we get started, please hit that subscribe button and notification button. Support and subscribe to this channel. And also share this YouTube channel with someone who you know who may be able to benefit from it and get them to subscribe. And I really do want to thank everyone for blocking out time to support this channel. Continue to send me your comments. So with that being said, let's get down to today's lecture. The focus of this lecture is going to be part three on the amazing fights about the legendary Billy Holiday. Please check out my prior uh, video uploads on part one and two on amazing fights about the legendary Billy Holiday. I have been following her music for years and here we go. Number one, Billy Holiday released 38 charting singles during her career 38 charting singles during her career number two Billy never learned how to read music but make no mistake Billy was a jazz genius three number three a statue of Billy was erected in Baltimore at the corner of Lafayette and Pennsylvania Avenue. So if you're ever in the area of Lafayette in Pennsylvania Avenue, check out the statue of the legendary Billy Holiday. Number four, the 1,200 pound statue depicts Billy in a scrapless gown with gardenias in her hair. That was her trademark and her mouth open. So check it out. Number five, Baltimore sculptor James Earl Reed created the tall bronze statue of Billy. Number six, the statue cost $113,000 to make. Number seven, the statue of Billy in Baltimore stands eight feet and six inches. Number eight, the first dedication of the statue was in 1985 by then Mayor William Donald Schaefer. Number nine. In 1985, more than 200 people attended that dedication to pay tribute to the legendary Billy. Number 10. In 2008, $76,000 was spent to restore Billy's statue in Baltimore. That's more of a reason to go visit the statue of Billie Holiday because they restored it and spent a lot of money on restoring that statue. Number 11. Billy was one of Janis Joplin and Joni Mitchell music influences. Number 12. Billy stood 5 feet 5 inches so she really was not that tall of a woman. Number 13. The United States Postal Service honored Billy with a stamp on September the 18th, 1994. Fourteen, Billy endured racial discrimination and fought white supremacy during not just her entire career, but her entire short life. At one motel, the management demand that Billy use the freight elevator so as not to offend white clientele. 15. Billy had no technical voice training, but again, make no mistake, the legendary Billy was a, a, a musical genius, and she really was. 16. Some radio stations banned the record screen shoot because it was considered too controversial, which made it more of a popular song. And Screen Shrewd will later on in the future become the song of the century. 17. Billy quoted, I sing Screen Shrewd not because they asked me to, I sing Screen Shrewd because I know I have to, end quote. And she did it at all costs. She did not care. Nothing was going to stop her from singing Screen Shrewd. 18. This is the completion of the lecture, 
part three on the beautiful, brave Billy Holiday. Please check out my prior uploads on Billy Holiday. And I have no doubt that God, holy angels, receive the legendary Billy Holiday into heaven. And I have no doubt deep within my soul. And I'm here to tell you. So, ladies and gentlemen, please hit that subscribe button. Be on the lookout for more uploads. I've got a couple more uploads I'm going to do on the legendary Billie Holiday. The more research that I do on Billie Holiday, I mean, it's just the amazing things that she done throughout her life, throughout her career. You know, Hollywood does no justice on, on really uh, uh, depicting on who really Billie Holiday was. They just, Hollywood just want to focus on the drug use in, in, the, in, the, in the traumatic childhood. But Billy stood for a lot of things. Billie Holiday stood what was what was for what was right. She fought against white supremacy. She she did some amazing things throughout her career. And in and, and the one piece that really stuck stood out to me it was Billy sing many times at Carnegie Hall. I mean, how many artists can really say they made it to Carnegie Hall? So with that being said, don't forget to please hit my subscribe button. Continue to send me your comments. And um, don't forget, pass my channel along. Simplify, Simple Fidelis. And I'm going to leave you in the care of your own conscience. Have a great evening.